Hi, this is Brittany Beavis here for the Equine Chronicle, and I'm with Charnay, who's going to be giving us a few tips on how she braids her horses for Hunter and Saddle. Hi, Charnay, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Um, okay, I try to do each one the same size, obviously, and I've had very special instructions from Mr. Painter that they're supposed to be small. Um, so I kind of measure a little bit with my comb, and then try to get about the same size on each one. And the reins get thicker as you go farther down, so you kind of have to make them, get them smaller and smaller. I use a small comb, and then I clip it, and I keep the yarn on the halter, put it in your mouth, which is pretty, try to keep talking. <laughs> um, I do mine really tight. I, some people can braid them when they're not tight, I cannot. And are you putting anything on their mane? Or do I you put, just like it dry? I don't like it dry. I like a little something on it. Um, I put some banding mousse on it, but quick braid is my favorite. Um, I just don't have any of those, any of that. Um, braid it about halfway down, and I try to put um, the yarn in on my two skinniest pieces. I don't know why. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit of a self-taught braider, so. Um, and then I try to braid it all the way down again to where the last braid was. And kind of how, how far down do you, you just make sure they're all even? I like to leave a tail and then when I pull it up I cut it off. Okay. Um, so I don't really necessarily braid all the way to the very end. And I always leave it, the two, the yarn on, on the same side. I flip it up and then do one knot. And I do two because I never know how long they're going to have to be in for. And then I have a handy little tool my mom made me. It's like a lanyard with um, scissors and a pull through on it. So, pull that through. And I'm a very slow braider, just to make a note of that. <laughs> That's okay, as long as they <laughs> stay as as in, it doesn't matter. I'll do part of it and go do something else and come back. Like I said, mine are pretty tight. So, do you try to work it so that the tail is kept underneath or it comes out? I put it top? on the side. I okay. put it on the side right there and I pull it just through there, just so you can see it. And I do one knot and do it underneath all the hair. And then I pull it tight and try to keep it straight. And then I kind of do a little tug on the tail and it gets a little that little bump right there for kind of a hunter looking braid. And I flip it twice and then I try to get it right in the middle. And as you go down the line, you try to keep your 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 line goes all the okay. way straight down there. All your middle knots yep. the same. And you can kind of play with it to get it one more flip. I top. know some people like their braids a little bit more flat. Some right, like right. with like a little Beth, more bump on the top. Beth hates them when they're up and have a bump on the top. She likes them flat against their neck, kind of like that one. And then I do two knots on the bottom. I always pull the yarn to the right side, my handy dandy lanyard, cut that, and then I cut the tail. That's it. Perfect. And then you're done. It's all done. Well, I have a lot more to go, but done with that braid. Well, thank you so much for your help. Good luck at the rest of the show. Thank you.